hello everyone and welcome to blog runner everything and welcome back to this channel and to a special video taking a look at el clasico as barcelona take on real madrid on sunday night at the santiago Bernabeu in what is one of the biggest clashes between the two in recent memory so what we're going to be doing in this video is discussing the key battles and by that i mean duels that will be going on in game on and off the pitch and that will likely have an influence on the outcome of the match. Also, if this is your first time tuning in here, welcome again. Feel free to hit subscribe and please hit like, you know, pretty please. Also, check out the other videos I have previously uploaded in the Key Battle series that link should be popping up right around the, that top right corner of your screen. And I'm pretty sure you'll find some pretty good stuff in there. What you also find in there is that the first battle I love to start my videos off with is the one between the two masterminds in the dugout, which this time around is a first ever face-off between Carlo Ancelotti and Xavi Hernandez in La Liga, okay? Obviously, this isn't the first time that Xavi Hernandez and Carlo Ancelotti have been on opposite sides in an El Clasico. They crossed paths just about two months ago in Saudi Arabia in the semis of the Supercopa, a tie which Real Madrid won 3-2 after extra time. Beyond that matchup, however, there's unfortunately no head-to-head -head record to speak of between the two managers. But having said that, I cannot think of two figures who will be more central to everything that will play out on Sunday night. After a few years in the managerial wilderness with brief stints at Napoli and Everton, Ancelotti has been very much the chief mastermind behind a Real Madrid team that has looked at times unbeatable in La Liga and revived in the Champions League upon his return. Real Madrid are currently on course for their highest scoring season in the post-Ronaldo era and it has owed a great deal to the work that Carlo Ancelotti has done with Karim Benzema and Vinicius Jr. The Brazilian in particular has exploded into life under Don Carlo and you know what? More on that to come later on. Facing off against Ancelotti will be a man whose impact on his team has been just as massive, if not maybe even more so, in a way. Why do I say that? When Xavi Hernandez took charge of Barcelona, they were sat in 9th place, 10 points behind 2nd place Sevilla, and just 6 points ahead of 17th place Cadiz, while also playing some of the worst football we've ever seen from Barcelona since the early 2000s. 14 matches and one winter break later, Barcelona sit in third place, just five points behind second place Sevilla and 26 ahead of 17th place Granada. Xavi has overseen an upturn of performances and results that have culminated in a recent poncha for routinely scoring four goals against whatever team it is that is put in front of him. But it remains to be seen whether Xavi's recent reforms and revamping of La Blaugrana can hold up away from home at the Bernabeu, but you can bet your top dollar that if it does or it doesn't, it'll be largely down to the tactical machinations of either Carlo Ancelotti or Xavi Hernandez. We now move away from the gaffers to the men playing at the top of the field in what is another intriguing battle between Karim Benzema and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. It's no secret that there are few, if any, forwards in better form than Karim Benzema this season. Currently, his goal tally in La Liga stands at 22 after 25 games, on course to top his career best of 23 goals that he scored from 34 appearances last season. But beyond just goals scored, Karim Benzema has been a chief creative force for Los Blancos as he currently tops the La Liga assists chart with 11 from 25 games, which once again puts him on course to top his career best 13 assists from 30 games, which he achieved way back in 2012-2013. His impressive form has of course carried into a classical where he has scored or assisted in each of the last five editions, but I'll stop there lest I begin to sound like a Karim Benzema stan, because leading the line for Barcelona is another forward who is more than familiar with putting the ball in the back of the net. But whereas Aubameyang hasn't managed anything like the goal contributions Benzema has mustered up this season, he has, over the span of his career, not been a stranger to scoring a glut of goals as evidenced by his career tally of 301 goals in 589 appearances. By comparison, 
Benzema has scored 377 in 741 appearances, meaning that Aubameyang's average of 0.51 goals per game is almost identical to Benzema's 0.5 goals per game. Oh, and by the way, these goals and assists stats are just for Benzema and Aubameyang's club careers. And that's taking into consideration the fact that Aubameyang has had a sharp dip of form over the past 63 games where he has scored just 23 times, six of those having come in a Barcelona shirt. But speaking of a Barcelona shirt, since pulling on one, Aubameyang seems to have rediscovered his scoring touch as he has started to look sharp in front of goal once again and because of that, he'll give this Real Madrid defense as much to worry about as Benzema will give Barcelona's backline. So definitely, should either of these leading men bring their A game on Sunday night, you can expect to see them find the back of the net. But every leading man needs a capable right-hand man, the Robin to their Batman, the Pippin to their Jordan, and if Benzema and Aubameyang are the top guns going into this battle, then their wingmen are rather fittingly Vinicius Jr. and Usman Dembele. Like I said earlier on, Carlo Ancelotti has been working his magic with Vinicius Jr. Prior to Ancelotti's arrival, Vinicius had 12 goals and 22 assists in 118 games. That's right, between the 18-19 season and the 2020-21 season, Vinicius made 118 appearances and he only had 34 goal contributions in that time. That's a miserly return of 0.28 goal contributions per app or to put it in another way, one goal contribution every four games. By comparison, since Ancelotti took over, Vinicius has scored 17 goals and laid on 14 assists in 38 games for Real Madrid, which translates to 0.82 goal contributions per game, or to put it in another way, about 8 goals every 10 games. The revamped version of Vinicius has taken on a more central role to Real Madrid's approach as along with Benzema and Luka Modric, he has become a more vital cog in the Real Madrid chance-creating machine. Throw in the fact that he is rarely, if ever, injured, and you have a winger whose performances have only been bettered by the likes of Mbappe and Mohamed Salah this season. His opposite number over in Catalonia, though, has not had as sparkling of a season as the young Brazilian, but much like Vinicius, Dembele has himself been experiencing a rejuvenation of sorts under his current manager, Xavi Hernandez. Like Vinicius, Usman Dembele registered 118 appearances for Barcelona prior to the start of this season, during which he had 30 goals and 21 assists for an average of 0.43 goal contributions per game. Since Dembele returned to full fitness under Xavi, he has managed 9 goal contributions though in 13 appearances for an average of 0.69 goal contributions. Dembele is also on track to eclipse his La Liga season high 7 assists as he has already hit that number in the 11 appearances he has made under Xavi Hernandez in La Liga. But much like Vinicius at Real, Dembele is a vital part of how Xavi's Barcelona can create chances with his most recent La Liga appearance against Osasuna showing just how creative Dembele can be. Both Vinicius and Dembele boast electrifying speed, mesmeric dribbling skills, a thunderous shot of either foot and a touch of unpredictability that can create a game-changing moment all in an instant. At least one of these two mercurial wild men will have an impact on the game come Sunday night. Now, there were many other battles that I felt could decide which way this tie would swing, but I couldn't put all of them in because this would have been a really long video. I mean, just look how long it is already from three battles. But here are my honorable mentions for other on-pitch battles that will influence the outcome on Sunday night. Thibaut Courtois versus Marc-Andre Stegen, Carlos Casemiro versus Sergio Busquets, Luka Modric versus Pedri, Jordi Alba, versus Danny Kapahau, and of course, VAR versus Honesty. <laughs> now I'm playing like, you know, <laughs> the, the referees in, in La Liga are very honest and they're very transparent and they, they never make mistakes. With that said, it's a wrap from me, ladies and gentlemen. Which battles do you think will decide this tie? Are there any you think I left out? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day and force a basket.